here, semi-final of the FA Cup. This could be the breaking point of the season. If we win this game and the game against Palace, then I think everything is possible. Not to say Chelsea are struggling lately, but they've not been as convincing as they've been during that 13 game winning streak. Call me biased, call me whatever you want. I think for the past month and a half, Tottenham have been the best team in the Premier League and I think it's not just me who thinks that. What's up guys, my name is Rock and welcome back to my channel. Today it's time to preview Tottenham's semi-final game of the FA Cup against Chelsea. This will be our first real test in the competition as we faced Aston Villa, Wickham, Fulham and Millwall so far. Surprisingly enough, Wickham has been our toughest game in the competition so far when we sure, wonderful character. came back from what looked like a lost game. We've dismantled Millwall and Fulham and had a pretty easy job against Aston Villa. Let's focus on Chelsea first. The turning point of their season was a loss against Arsenal back in September and after that they switched to formation with three at the back. After that they've gone on unbeaten run of 13 games ended by none other than Tottenham Hotspur. Chelsea were hard to break and they've considered only 5 goals during that 13 game win streak. In a game against us they got exposed and other teams saw that they are not unbeatable and they too have problems. In 12 games after the loss against us they've considered 12 goals or 1 per game which is a clear sign how much Chelsea's defense has regressed. So if you compare 13 game win streak and 12 games after the first loss, they've gone from about 0.4 goals per game to exactly one goal per game. In my opinion, Chelsea are there for the taking. Antonio Conte is aware of how good of a team we've become and judging by the statements from his press conferences, I think he is kind of scared of us. He's also not stupid, he realizes that we've got the momentum going into this game and there is absolutely no pressure on us. I know football is about winning, there is just no good playing wonderful football without topping that off with a trophy. The first time since I'm supporting Spurs, I feel like we are capable of going all the way, that we are capable of competing with anyone, that we are capable of winning things and to be honest it's such a beautiful feeling. Before I go to the team selection, let's just quickly look at Chelsea's injury problems. Four of their starters are questionable for this game. Thibaut Courtois, Marcos Alonso, Gary Cahill and Victor Moses. If any one of those four is unable to go, it would be a massive boost for us. Now it's time to talk about us. We are in a beast mode, destroying everything that comes our way. Our last loss was two months ago and in that period our goal difference is 30 goals scored against 6 goals conceded. The fact that we've shown that we are more than capable of beating Chelsea makes me even more confident that we can do it. Because in both games that we've played them this season, we were the better team. Danny Rose was back in training this weekend and is probable for the game. Formation? I don't know, man. We've won against Chelsea when we played three at the back, but I think we've created more chances when we played against them with four at the back. So I don't really know what formation Pochettino will use. In my personal opinion, I wouldn't switch to three at the back because that would leave out Sonny, he's been brilliant lately and he's becoming not only top player in our team, he's becoming one of the top players in the league. I'd start with Hugo, even though cup competitions were reserved for Michel Vorm, we are not playing lower league teams anymore, so I'd start with Hugo. I'd go with four at the back, right back Kyle Walker, left back now that he's healthy, Danny Rose and a center back pairing of Jan Vertonghen and Toby Alderweireld. I really hate to do this, but I must drop Eric Dyer in this formation in favor of Musa Dembele and Victor Vanyama. I think Victor Vanyama will be key in this game. I think his job will be the same as it was in January when he destroyed a supposedly the best midfielder in the league, N'Golo Kante. Our attacking trio will be Christian Eriksen, Deli Ali and Hyung Min Son. They've been playing so brilliantly that we haven't really missed Harry Kane so much and this tells you a lot. Hyung Min Son will probably eclipse a 15 goal mark in the Premier League. Christian Eriksen will probably finish with around 15 assists. 
and Deli Ali will probably go on and score about 20. So, what an amazingly talented attacking trio we have. I'm sorry Jansen, but now that he's back healthy and he's scoring goals again, Harry Kane will get the start. Harry Kane loves the London derbies. He scored 23 goals in 29 London derbies throughout his career. So yeah, let's just hope he makes it 24 in 30 or 25 in 30. So this was my preview for the FA Cup semi-final game against Chelsea. I'm going of course with Tottenham's win. I will say it will be it will be a low scoring game, so I'm expecting a 1-0 or a 2-0 victory for Tottenham. Like the video if you enjoyed it, comment in the comment section below with your scoreline predictions and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And as always, I will see you guys soon.